What if we were wrong about time? Imagine something happening before it even had a chance to begin. Does this mean the future can influence the past? Or that the time we know is just an illusion? These are exactly the questions scientists are asking after observing something they call negative time. But what is negative time? How is it possible that photons, particles of light, can overtake themselves? And does this discovery open the door to time travel? In this episode, we'll answer these questions and show why this groundbreaking discovery might change everything we think about the universe. Can light cheat time? Imagine an experiment where scientists caught photons, those tiny particles of light, doing something completely impossible. It turns out that photons can appear on the other side of a material before they even cross it. Yes, you heard that right. Before they fully pass through the obstacle, they're already on the other side. It's like jumping into a tunnel and before you start moving through it, you're already waiting at the exit. Sounds like a paradox, doesn't it? But this is exactly the phenomenon observed in early January 2025 at the University of Toronto. Was it a measurement error? No. Everything points to it being an effect of one of the strangest and most fascinating mechanisms in quantum physics. How can something happen backward in time? Let's delve into the details. Can light really cheat time? The experiment conducted at the University of Toronto in early January 2025 was not only groundbreaking, but also one of the most surprising in the history of quantum physics. Scientists built an extremely precise device capable of observing individual photons, particles of light, as they passed through a special material. The main goal was to investigate what's known as quantum tunneling. In the classical world, if something encounters an obstacle, it must overcome it. However, in the microscopic world of quantum particles, the rules of physics are entirely different. Instead of simply passing through an obstacle in a linear fashion, photons tunnel, meaning they appear on the other side of the material without conventionally crossing it. What they observed exceeded all expectations. Photons were detected on the other side of the obstacle even before, according to all calculations, they should have had time to make the journey. Scientists used time-of-flight detectors with precision measured in picoseconds, trillionths of a second, to capture the exact moment photons appeared on either side of the material. The result? The photon appeared on the other side faster than was physically possible according to classical laws. This phenomenon, dubbed negative time, sparked a flood of questions. The key one. Are we really witnessing photons moving backward in time, or are we uncovering an entirely new quantum mechanism? One theory suggests that photons somehow shorten the path by using additional dimensions of time or space that are inaccessible to our senses. 
The experiment was repeated multiple times with different materials and wavelengths of light. The results were consistent. This time leap phenomenon remained unchanged. Moreover, similar phenomena were observed at other research centers, confirming that this wasn't a one-off error, but something deeply embedded in the principles of quantum behavior. For many physicists, these results are evidence that our understanding of time and space is merely an oversimplification. Perhaps what we call the future and the past are just different aspects of a single whole that, in the quantum world, can freely interpenetrate. Now the big question, what does this all mean? Is it just a curiosity, or are we dealing with a discovery that could turn physics upside down? If negative time truly exists, then what about our reality? Can cause and effect, this fundamental principle of the universe, work in reverse? Can the future influence the past? Negative time opens the door to entirely new questions. Is our understanding of time too simplistic? Or are there other dimensions of time we have no idea about? Think about it. Can what you're doing now somehow influence something that has already happened? It sounds like a challenge to common sense, but such concepts might be closer to reality than we think. Does negative time mean we can travel back in time? Unfortunately, no. The negative time we're talking about operates on a quantum level in the microscopic world of particles where the rules governing our everyday reality no longer apply. It's a bit like two different worlds. In ours, causality reigns. First, you do something, and then you see the result. But in the quantum world, time and space are more flexible. Phenomena like negative time apply only to this strange micro-world and have no direct impact on our daily lives. However, every great discovery started as a small, misunderstood experiment. Perhaps negative time will be the first step toward understanding time in ways we never dreamed of. Negative time. It sounds like something completely unexpected, doesn't it? But as we've seen, it's much more than that. This discovery challenges everything we know about time and the universe. Is this the beginning of a revolution in quantum physics? Or just the tip of the iceberg hiding even more mysteries? One thing is certain. This discovery poses the biggest questions scientists have ever faced. And the answers could change not only science, but our entire perspective on the universe. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope the topic of negative time intrigued you as much as it did me. It's amazing how many mysteries our universe holds, isn't it? If you want to discover more fascinating puzzles of science, philosophy and the universe, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This way you won't miss the upcoming episodes that will definitely expand your horizons. Do you have your own thoughts on negative time? Share them in the comments. I'd love to read your theories or questions that intrigue you. And if you're already subscribed, a big thank you for your support. It's thanks to you that this channel can grow and reach more curious minds. See you in the next video.
Bye.